Oh boy, here we go again. Miss Katie being a huge hypocrite. I didn't want to make another vegan teacher video, but here we are. Because she decided to be a ginormous hypocrite with her latest community post. We're going to talk about it. So the post that that vegan teacher made today, I'm going to probably be putting up on the screen here um, in some way, shape, or form. But anyway, she's saying that what John Robert Bell did was wrong, which it was. It was very wrong. He decided to um, talk to some minors. It was very wrong. But then she wanted to drag other people into it and saying that she saw it coming a mile away, that people that would report her are these awful human beings and they're monsters and they're scum. Like, and then saying that Ethan Trace and Ian Aber work with John Robert Bell and that they're these horrible people and... I've never seen John Robert Bell work with Ethan Trace before. Not once. Not once. Same thing with I Nabber. Not once. Talking about how she's this high moral being and that she basically was banned unjustfully and that everything that she was doing was okay, that everything they're doing is wrong. No, that is not the case. Miss Katie, aren't you the one that was banned off of TikTok from your 1.7 million followers that you can't seem to let go for sexualizing Tommy in it, for telling him that, um, what was it again? Oh yeah, that if he, girls want to play with his buttons, you need to, sh that he needs to show them his fruits and his vegetables while holding an apple and a pear in one hand and a cucumber in the other. Wasn't, wasn't that you? Didn't you have an entire account that was inherently, um, explicit for children I'm um, saying um in a very like I don't want to say hippie outfit but that's basically what you were wearing on your meat teacher miss tofu account and saying well that's the end of our lesson boys and girls and remember the only meat you need to be putting inside you is the meat of a vegan boy trust me I wish I could forget that video but you made it and it was gross because you're literally 56, and you're talking to children like this. You're the one that brought that on yourself. And you weren't banned for trying to save the animals or anything having to do with your veganism. It's because of who you are as a person, not veganism. Not veganism. You've shown your hypocrisy in so many ways, Miss Katie. From saying that you're bisexual and then saying that coming out as LGBTQ is horribly selfish and it's not as worthy or good as coming out vegan. People are not literally in the streets for being vegan like they are for being LGBTQ. The struggles of you vegans is nothing compared to the struggles of both the black community, the Asian community, the Islamic community, or the LGBTQ community. Don't even try comparing it to it at all. Saying it's wrong to imprison animals while you have a dog yourself. Let me be absolutely clear. Ethan Trace did not imply those things. You did first. You did. Not him. You made it very clear what object you were trying to portray with an apple and pear and a cucumber in one hand and holding them like this. That was you. Not him. Not I never. You. You're the one saying that you can change your religion like it's underwear, but people that are vegetarian are not good enough. They're not as good as being vegan. And that people that are vegan like Bill Billie Eilish aren't real vegans because they don't yell at people and scream at them and try to make them change their lives like you do. You're literally being a hypocrite about yourself all the time. Saying that you believe in God and God talks to you through a, through a banana, which I'm pretty sure those videos are floating around YouTube by now, where you made multiple times of you talking to God through a banana and trying to make the world vegan that Jesus says you need to be vegan in order to go to heaven. And then say that the Bible is just peer pressure from dead people. That's just hypocrisy proof number one. I could literally make probably an hour-long video if I could just sort through all the stuff that I have on you, all the videos from your old accounts on various accounts, 
from all the times that you've contradicted yourself and what you believe, I would have an hour-long video, most likely. You say you're not racist, but then you make a video of an African-American chef on YouTube and saying that animals are modern-day slaves. And then the picture of the African-American chef is right there, and you're just like, Pretty sure that was you. Also kind of funny how every single time you mention the word slaves or monkeys, it's in a video that you've either stitched, duetted, or showing a picture behind yourself using the green screen feature of someone that is of color. Maybe you need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. People that live in glass houses should not be throwing stones. What John Robert Bell did was definitely not good, but you are no better than him. At all. If someone comes out with proof against Ethan Trace or Einabber of doing these things with John Robert Bell or independently by themselves, I will also make a video about it. Just as, just as I talk about you, I will say that they are a horrible person and they deserve jail time. Just like John Robert Bell does and like you most certainly do. Also, making fun and dragging Call Me Chris's SA, her trauma, into your videos, that ain't right either. Saying that Gordon Ramsay needs to, on a bone, and, and that you can't make that clear enough that anyone that eats meat needs to, I thought, I'm pretty sure that's you. Not to mention the fact that you are 56, you have your own children and grandchildren, and you said that you weren't proud to be Canadian, you weren't proud to be a mother, you weren't proud to be a grandmother, you weren't proud of all of this stuff, and then you decided to tag one of your Canadian senators or something, saying that you were proud to be a Canadian, in the same week. You see your hypocrisies here, Miss Katie? And these are all just off the top of my head just off the top of my head. That's not me going through anything today. I just saw this community post and I had to react to it because your, hypocr your hypocrisies are astounding. Maybe you shouldn't be speaking on it, just saying. Because you're definitely no better than him. Again, what John Rubber Bell, aka Jerobe, did was terrible. It was awful. And he should be in jail. But Maybe you shouldn't be talking about it, all right? With that being said, if you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and turn on your notification bell for whenever I post a video. I'm probably going to be talking about some dark Disney theories to help celebrate Halloween and spooky season. If you guys would like that, let me know in the comments. If you have any suggestions of content you would like to see from me, whether it be cosplay theories, more stuff about the vegan teacher or other internet celebrities, problems, scandals, whatever. That's why this account is called The Random Show, because my content is random, it is all over the place, and it's all stuff I like to talk about. I don't have just one thing I'm going to be talking about on this channel. But yeah, that's it for me. I hope you liked this video, and I hope you all have a wonderful, great day. Bye.